Good morning, you. <laughs> Good, well, come on, Boomer. Good morning, YouTubers. Um, Boomer and I, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to tie you a couple flies here. And Boomer, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on, relax. Say good morning. Say good morning. Okay, we're gonna tie a, a flame boss because uh, we're, we're gonna try to anyway. This is a fly that I fished a lot. I fished a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I've actually gone several years and not fished it at all. And what's that all about? I'm going to have to battle the cat here. He'll settle down in a minute. So what, what this is about is how we become enamored with a pattern or two. And uh, then we somehow, um, we, you're just impossible. You're just impossible. Let, now let's try to shift you around here. Let's see if we can get you to lay down here. Okay, come on, lay down. Lay down, come on. Settle down. So we, we find a fly, whether it's a, a trout fly. Now if it's a trout fly, you're probably... Uh, you're probably uh, more attuned to matching the hatch or figuring out what season it is and that sort of thing. So you're, you may be more likely to be flexible in the flies you use. Unless, of course, you're, you're just a woolly worm person or a uh, muddler person and that's what you fish all the time. But with salmon... Uh, Boy, I've gone through whole seasons where all I fished was a Ramon and a Flame Boss. I've gone through seasons when the only fly I fished was a Clouser. And that's that seems kind of weird to me. And it is weird, but we um, I guess I'm just like a lot of people in that I am uh, prone to fall into habits. And when you catch a fish on a fly, you think, rightly so, Wow, that's a good fly. I think I'll, I fished it yesterday, caught a fish. I think I'll fish it today. Maybe I'll catch a fish today. Um, so, yeah, pretty soon the season's over. Uh, pretty soon the season's over and you've been fishing that same darn fly the whole season. And certainly, you, you may have had some successful days, but maybe you've had some days that were not successful. And maybe they could have been if you'd switched it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to this fly, which has certainly been around a long time. Uh, probably back to, probably 100 years, probably back to the 20s, the 1920s here on the west coast and uh, I probably saw my first flame boss uh, uh, it was a fly that Jeff Hunt come on baby come on come on come on get those hands down first flame boss I saw was tied by Jeff Hunter um, and uh, I thought yeah I, I like that I'm gonna fish that fly and I did, and I can tell you the first fish I caught on this fly was the orchard hole on the sixes. Um, so I was there with Jeff and Bob and Ryan and Darren, and we've been fishing down there probably close to a week, and uh, it's been very, 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 very slow. We were over there in the orchard hole, bright sun, sunny afternoon, <coughs> incoming tide. All of us cast, 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 move around, change. Well, I said, ah. I don't know if we were changing flies or not at this time. It's too long ago. I don't think I was, because I think I had. Well, maybe I had been. Can you tell I'm all over the map this morning? This, this kitty has got to calm down. Anyway, at some point, everybody had quit. Everybody was sitting on the bank. And I don't even know why we were still there, except we didn't have any place to go or anything else to do. 
and I kept casting and the you know it wasn't flowing in from the ocean it was just kind of backing up and it was low water in the sixes so everything was clear and about two or three in the afternoon somewhere in there I got a grab and I was so surprised and it was just a little cast out and slow strip back and I got a grab and I was surprised and I was excited and I got the fish in and Darren took a nice picture of it that I've still got to this day and then I knelt in the water and I released the fish and I'll never forget Bob Borden looked I was turned back to to come into the gravel bar and Bob looked at me and said what the hell you do that for Jay anyway kind of kind of cracked me up so that's my first experience with the flame boss um, this is a size 4 uh, fished them I guess I haven't really fished this exact I fish I call, I call them comets on the rogue and I call them bosses if I'm in the elk or up on the north coast um, fished them like this fishing with an orange tail Here's one with an orange tail. Ooh, I better zoom in. Let's zoom in here. Come on, let's get all the way in there. Okay. Here's an orange tail. Here, can I see it? Yeah, here's an orange tail. Here is a Ramon salmon killer. All very similar. I mean, they're different, but they're similar. Anyway, these are awesome, awesome flies. You guys have a good day. Boomer, wave goodbye to the nice people. Wave goodbye. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again, okay? Bye.